Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to the best of show. This is the show where we look back at all the action from Climbing Daily and Epic TV over the last year. And we're starting with bouldering. Do you remember the time we went to a secret Frankenura location with Adam Ondra? Uh -huh, uh -huh. There are also a lot of boulders here in the Frankenjura, which uh, most of the people don't know. And uh, the reason why is that it's a little bit um, strange with the hunters, with the landowners, and also that the boulders are often more in the woods than the rocks, and which makes it a little bit more difficult. And uh, so we keep it secret. People go bouldering and many people go bouldering, but um, there's no guidebook and it's agreed that we will not have a guidebook and um, you get the information from mouse to mouse which is working well here and um, so if someone wants to know something then he can go to somewhere from here and ask. I think it is, it is at all there is a conflict be between the hunters and the climbers. Um, the problem with the, with the boulders um, is that they are more in the woods, that um, the, especially the hunters uh, will not that you are in the woods too long, that they can go hunting. And um, also with the landowners, they, yeah, it's all a little bit more difficult than with the rocks. So cool to see Adam bouldering in a location where not many people go. Next is our interview with Caddy Lehman. She was the second woman to ever boulder 8C+. On today's show, we're at the Black Diamond booth because this lady to my right, Caddy Lehman, has become the second woman to boulder 8C, which frankly is worth talking about. So Caddy, a lot of people aren't really going to know who you are because you've just exploded out of nowhere. So for the people who don't know you, can you just say uh, who you are, where you live and what you do? Mm -hmm. So I'm Kadi Diemen. I live in Germany, in Freiburg. It's in the very south of Freiburg. And yeah, I boulder since I'm a little girl. Like my brother introduced me to climbing and um, he took me to Fontainebleau and since then I was hooked and it, it's part of my life. So talk me through the story of this boulder. Uh, what's it called and where did you first see it and know that it's something you wanted to climb? So I first saw it when a friend and my brother showed it to me. We went to this little area called Mochelstock. It's in Switzerland. And we looked at some lines, like there's some more beautiful lines. And uh, they just showed me this boulder and I, I saw it and it was this beautiful line called Kryptos. Um, and I just I had to try it, like I didn't, yes, they told me that it's a hard boulder, but I didn't really think about that in the beginning because I was just really motivated to try it because it looks nice and it looked somehow possible and I love the puzzle solving part about bouldering so I'm always keen to find out if I find a way for me because I'm relatively short, so yeah. And when you first pulled on? Could you do the moves or did it feel miles out of possibility for you? So um, I could do the second move <laughs> and I could do the finish. Um, but yeah, it's, it doesn't look so hard maybe on the photos or something, but it's limestone, it's super slippery. You have to hit every hole perfect. And yeah, in the beginning I could not leave the ground in some positions I was trying to hold or something, so yeah. Awesome job, Caddy. Now, sometimes during climbing daily trips, I actually get a chance to climb. And one of these opportunities was with Eric Carlson in Sweden when I challenged him to a climb off. <sighs> nice, man. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah, so good. Ooh. Nice, 
Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Such a legend. So good. <laughs> I hit that pocket, right? And I had four fingers in it. Mm. I was like, damn, I'm in the pocket. And then one just went, boom. <laughs> oh God, that's now three and ill. Like, boom. Like, gotta crimp this, gotta crimp this. <laughs> Put other one back on, other one back on. Yes. <laughs> that was close. Seven A plus, redeemed. Just. Yeah, I'm doing, I, I'm impressed. I think that does work. Oh, how can you hold that? I told you, it was like a total <laughs> fluke. <laughs> Damn. That was it, man. Dude, he's so strong. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> and that's definitely okay. I don't have this. Okay? No. I, I can feel like fingers like. Yeah. <laughs> One last time, you got this. Yeah. Yes, come on, strong man. Keep it together. Come on. There you go. Easy, man. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cruised it. Poor oh, guy. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. So good, dude. I think our street cred is back. Yes. Really good. Um, that's a high five for the camera. That's from Hugo. Rematch, Eric. Whenever you want, mate. Next, we head to the Lake District in the UK, and we were there for the Arcteryx Lakeland Revival. Now, we went bouldering with Charlie Woodburn, and it was an amazing day, but a little bit wet. There's always someone when you turn up to a boulder and everyone else is hanging off stuff, shaking out, getting cold. There's always someone who's doing it a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Really looking forward to returning there when it's a little bit drier. Now finally, we have a bouldering film with a difference. I was in London bouldering with a crew from Durham. If you don't know what bouldering is, well, watch this clip. Done. Done. Right. Nice to meet you guys. This is Dave. Hello. You're right. So we are outside the Tate Modern with Ryan, Lewis and Dan. Uh, guys, just tell me why you're down here, because Durham's your home city, right? Yeah, we've come especially to climb the buildings. We've came all the way, cost us a lot of money on the train. Um, there's a guy who we know who made the map, the builder of map of London, so we've come down to try all the problems and uh, downgrade them all. So. 
So how long have you been buildering for? How long has this been going on? Um, I think personally I haven't been doing it as long as Lewis and, and Dan. Um, so maybe about oh, a year. Yeah, yeah about a year. Um, but over the past maybe like two or three months we've really started you know, getting in with the videos and finding new stuff and starting to establish things really. Um, and do the grades have the same grades as bouldering problems? Like, you know, you on the V scale here? Try to. It's, it's pretty difficult though. Uh, it's bouldering's quite specific movements often. Uh, there's not off, not always an, another option, so it's, it's very specific to your body type. But uh, we try and make them the same, yeah. So there you go, a few of our bouldering highlights from the year. And do let us know in the comments below if there's a film that you prefer or think should have made the list, or which one was your favourite out of the ones we selected. That's it for today. These best of shows are going to be coming out all week, so I hope you enjoy them, and I'll see you soon.